time. Hey y'all, today I'm gonna to be talking about how to prevent breakage, breakout. <laughs> I'm so used to talking about hair breakage. I'm gonna be talking about how to prevent breakouts on your skin, you know, how to keep your skin clear while taking biotin. And actually these are things that I did um, cause I would take biotin and it would just like large amounts and it would make me break out. And um, I started switching some things up and trying some different things that worked for me. So I thought I'd share them with you. So as y'all know, taking biotin is really a good way to uh, nourish thinning hair and also to accelerate your hair growth. Yeah, I like how YG say that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so biotin deficiency is rare, but it could be the reason why your hair isn't growing as fast as you would like it to. So I think that's definitely something people don't take into consideration just because they don't think about it. They don't think about having like all of their vitamins and nutrients. And biotin is definitely one of those things to make sure that your hair is growing at a normal Rate. And the best way that I found to take biotin is definitely liquid form. Like I can take a pill, you know, I could swallow a pill, but like, I don't know, like <laughs> I always get like a little anxiety before I swallow a pill. I don't know why. And I'm pretty good at swallowing. Pause that. I'm pretty good at swallowing the pills, right? But just drinking something is just easier. You know, it's smoother. I don't get that small like tinge of anxiety. It's just easier. I actually take the biotin from SBR Nutrition. Y'all know I've been taking it since like last year this time, I think. And I really like it because it's a vegan product. Y'all know I'm trying to stay on this vegan path, even though it is a struggle out here yeah so I really like this because it's vanilla it tastes like vanilla like it's really good I think it's like a little grape flavor in there too so when I first started taking biotin years ago I was definitely breaking out majorly it was terrible y'all it was terrible terrible but I managed to figure out what I was doing wrong so if you're breaking out definitely take a look at these four factors to find out what you may need to change or incorporate in your routine so products with high dosages of biotin are usually based on a high caloric diet. So you have to make sure that you're eating enough every month to make sure that you're balancing everything out. It's usually on the bottle, but we overlook it. So definitely make sure that you read everything on a bottle. This goes with like anything you're taking, any product you use. Most of the time we look at the directions and the ingredients and that's it, not the extra stuff on the front of the bottle or box. And that's one of the things that a lot of us miss. So definitely pay attention to that from now on and even if your bottle doesn't specify it when you're taking a high dosage of biotin you definitely need to increase your caloric intake so just eat more eat more food more life all right so the next thing is make sure you're drinking enough water agua water make sure you're drinking enough every single day it's recommended that you drink eight ounces per day absorption is one of the main functions of these bodily fluids so you want to make sure you're drinking enough water to make sure your body is properly absorbing the biotin and other nutrients in your body so you maintain that balance i know it's hard drinking water sometimes for me that's mainly what i drink like with every single meal so for me to get in like my eight ounces a day is all i drink like i drink it with every single meal i drink it with every snack I have a bottle by my laptop and I notice a lot of the times if I don't have water right there I won't get up and get it it's just convenient so you're like constantly drinking water with your snacks if you're chewing gum or something like that um, you'll reach over and take a sip so I know when you start it's hard I'm from the south I like sweet tea it was definitely hard breaking that habit. It's cool to treat yourself every once in a while if that's what you wanna do, but if you drink it with every single meal, it'll definitely help you hit the amount you're supposed to drink every day. You may be taking too much biotin, way more than your little body can handle. So you may wanna spread out your dosages. So if you started taking biotin and the dosage says take it every single day and you're breaking out, then you definitely wanna move it to only taking it like every other day. If you're still kinda of breaking out, then I would extend it to every three days. Don't constantly keep taking it cause you may just be getting an overload of biotin. And usually with these biotin products, it's like a juiced up amount. It's like a crazy amount in there. So you definitely have to be careful. And keep space 
spacing it out you may even go to twice a week or once a week and this is the main thing that helped me just like spreading out the dosages over time and then for some reason when I went back to taking it every day I just didn't break out anymore so I don't know if my body just got acclimated to taking biotin you know some people's bodies can handle it you know they can handle the recommended amount on the bottle but some some of my bodies can't take it and some people end up having health related issues like you don't want that girl like it's, it ain't that serious to grow hair so if anything feels off like definitely listen to your body pay attention to what's going on um if you're not feeling well and breaking out is definitely one of those things like okay this is too much for you it's causing this adverse reaction so i need to scale back so definitely listen to your body and make adjustments where you need them and you may also want to consult a physician before you start taking it especially if you already have like health related issues and there have been people who have died from taking too much of a certain vitamin or a supplement and you definitely don't want to just be pumping something in your body every single day um overdoing it and it's causing you to become sick so yeah so be careful when you're taking biotin or when you're taking any kind of supplement and the last thing, are you eating nourishing foods? I kind of mentioned this before, but this is so important. So low levels of vitamins A and E are associated with breakouts. So getting enough in your diet may definitely lower your risk of breakouts. I don't know what made me do that. Level up. So vitamin A is used to repair the skin tissue while vitamin E is an antioxidant that protects vitamin A. So you definitely need both when it comes to maintaining clear skin. So try to get all of your vitamins and nutrients you need every single day by eating nourishing foods or just by drinking smoothies. So after I started drinking water, spacing out my dosages and making sure I was eating enough calories every day, I definitely saw my breakouts reduce and then just go away. I hope these tips can help save your skin because I know the struggle I know a lot of people don't grow hair fast and I know I'm definitely blessed in the area so I, I felt like this could help some people who are biotin deficient and don't even realize it and if you're looking for a healthy vegan option that tastes like heaven definitely check this out yeah thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe or hit the notifications if you're already subscribed so thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time